so it's beyond this bridge? Yeah. No chance from the front. Not like this. <sighs> We can go across those islands. That way, we should be able to swing round the back. Then, it's in and out, fast as we can. Yeah. We go in, we get the shard, and we hightail it out there. Right. I can't see another way. Let's do it. week away from your homecoming. Why? <sighs> Noah? You okay? Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Hmm? Strange. Now of all times. This is unsettling. Not a single person anywhere in sight. What's going on? Is this because we busted up the Annihilator? No, I very much doubt it. We didn't do any direct damage to the castle itself. Maybe it's because of the Machini Queenie? Even so, we didn't actually free the soldiers here, right? And yet no one's here. Huh? The shard's changing position! Hey, Noah! Look at this! Noah? It's a song. What song? You're right. It's a Kavesi one. The melody. Yeah. And it's not just any melody. I know who's playing. Chris. Wait, Chris? Wasn't that the guy who was Noah's off-seeing instructor? Yeah. Huh? But Chris is... Yeah. He died four years ago. Does that mean he's been reborn, like Ethel? No. I don't think that's it. What then? Like Mobius? There are two types of Mobius. The kind like Z and X, who were Mobius from the beginning, and humans who became Mobius, like N, M, and Yorin. <laughs> so... Is this like a trap? Probably. But the origin metal readout is real. It's definitely here. In we go? Yeah. In we go. What? Into the jewels? They're clearly aware that we're coming. But there's no one around. He's waiting. For me. Good to see you again, Noah. I knew it. Chris. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see that you're still an Offseer. Chris! Come out! Reveal yourself! I'm waiting in the throne room. Take your time. I want you to come up here. Then I want you to play that special melody. Chris! I'll be waiting. I first met Chris on the day of a homecoming.
I remember. A short time later, I put in to become an officer. And then, we met again. The name's Noah, right? I'm Chris. Starting today, I'll be your personal cheater, all right? Let's begin. Hey, Chris, tell me something. Back then, on that day, why did you look so sad? Which day? The day of homecoming, in Colony 14. Ah, I see. So that's how I look to you then. The others looked so happy. And the soldier, he was so pleased about it. But not you. I think... He probably felt content. Content? He had lived through it all, fought hard, and in serving his colony, he found purpose. I find it's quite a tragic thing. But why? I mean, it was time for him to return home. What do you think that entails? Huh? Reaching your life's expiry date. Surviving through so many battles. Well, I... Do you honestly believe he was happy to disappear for such trivial reasons? That his smile belied no doubt? To me, he looked ready to cry. Huh. Being unable to choose his end. Merely accepting what comes next. Chris. There's no joy in a contrived death, Noah. Contrived death, huh? At this point, I get him. Kind of, at least. On that day, he shook my belief. Was I really content? Content with the path I'd chosen to follow? <sighs> and then he chose for himself. His end would be by his design. I need to know. What was he thinking back then? And why now? Why has he appeared before me? Boros, you dare to appear before me once again. Do you not value your lives? Such idiocy. You should never have shown your faces here again. But you leave me no choice. For sullying this consecrated ground, I will see to it that justice is served. What a terrible din. <gasps> Only an imitation. Its empty words could never ring true. Let me hear it, Noah. I want a true melody. 
Why, Chris? Why become Mobius? Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? So I could see you again, Noah. But why? Your sworn mission is to change this world, is it not? Yes. And is that because you're unhappy with the way it is? It's wrong, and we have to correct it. That is all. I see. So relentless desire is what drives you. Desire? You fight for betterment, for ever greater aspirations. And what's wrong with that? Nothing at all. It's human nature, after all. But you still don't understand. There's something you must learn. What's that? To be content with one's lot. What do you mean? Don't you see? Only the strong can ever hope to reach the fabled horizon that you seek. Your words must be backed up by strength in equal measure. Winner's logic. But birds, what can they possibly know of how a lowly worm feels? Then, what would you have become of the weak? Would you abandon them? You would refute their everything? End their story there? Mobius are the ones doing that! Noah, what you're trying to achieve here amounts to the same thing. You really think freeing Origin will revive the world and solve all of our problems? You must surely have heard from the Queen of Agnes the truth of this world. So what then? You're saying the Queen's lying? No, surely not. Then what? But there is no guarantee. <sighs> if... If the Queen is wrong and the world is not created anew, what happens then? Huh? What if this is some flight of fancy? What if you've been taken in, staking your lives on a whim? Who's accountable? I ask you that. Um... Well, I... I think... It's still the right thing to do. Oh? It was your smile. Chris? Get it now. I know why you were smiling back then. I'm good here. I get what you meant now. You asked me once if I would keep moving. And my answer... Tell me, Noah. I will. To the end. So that I can treasure those final moments. Final? When that hour is upon me, I want to look back and smile. Then I'll be good. And to come out smiling, we all have to choose where our lives take us. For our future selves. And yet, lack of choice is enough to break a person. They struggle, suffer clawing their way through endless fog. A world without choice, that's wrong. If death is a lie in this world, it deserves to end. So you'd rather perish along with the world? I just, I just want to cut this world free from Mobius. Whatever the consequences. Yeah, otherwise, the Queen would never have told us the things she did. We take everything as it comes, and we're afforded so little. Still, no matter how slim a chance we might have, it's a chance. So if that's an option we can take, then I'll take it. Noah, your melody, I hear it loud and clear. Now show it to me, your conviction and your smile. It's...
A beautiful song, Noah. Noah, the one who made me Mobius, was said. And it wasn't just me. J too, and N, and M. All of us were human once, and Zed changed our very being. Why? Why would he do that to you? For that, you'd be best off asking Zed himself. But listen, Noah. I think in the end, I was happy to have become Mobius. How could I not be, after hearing such a wonderful song? Chris, Mobius are an entity bound by the confines of this world. Strong, yet somehow fragile. And in their fragility, they crave only the now, fearing to tread even a single step towards the future. I chose the path of the Offseer because I had a thought. The sender and the ones being sent. I wanted to learn exactly what it was that connected them. Though we may be forgotten, our feelings live on. It is through our melodies that we carry them on. I think I once told you something to that effect. Yeah. There's a place doing just that. The city. The city is? The many lives born of the city. Lives whose existence was never recorded in origin. They are our future. They themselves are proof of the coming winds of change. I think I see. They are... Our hope, just as you once were, they too are the product of Ouroboros' will. And that is something that can never die. Chris, you knew everything all along. <sighs> Noah, one last thing. You really do play the most beautiful tune. Go now, Noah. Sing your song for all to hear.
Noah. Huh? So those things Chris said, what was that all about? Finding value. What now? Chris, when he played his Offseer song, he conveyed his wish to me. His wish that I would come to find value in all things. He entrusted it all to you, Noah. Ergo, the rest is history. Yeah, but it's so. Sad, isn't it? I'm going, for sure. His wishes won't be in vain as we march on Origin. Do you truly want it thus, O oh ye voices? Then let me enunciate, emphatically so, the rules to which this world adheres, for the benefit of us all. <laughs> <laughs>